I've been on some amazing hikes this summer, and in this video I'm gonna talk about my favorite hikes that I've done so far, so that you can get out there and enjoy the beauty that Washington State has to offer. I'm gonna start with my favorite three hikes all around, and then I'm gonna move into my favorite less well-known hikes, and then move on to my favorite seasonal hikes. At number three, Rattlesnake Ledge is a great hike that is close to Seattle and has a lot to offer when it comes to views. The hike itself is relatively short and not too strenuous. If you get to the top and feel like hiking further, you can continue up Rattlesnake Mountain, but you have to make sure to take in the views at the ledge. At number two, Mount Defiance. This hike is really breathtaking because of the views and how steep the trail gets as you get closer to the top. If you're willing to put in the effort, you will be rewarded with some of the most stunning views that I've seen in Washington State. On a clear day, you can see all the way across the state in every direction. If you want to extend your hike, you can also camp at Mason Lake on the way up, which provides tranquil views and ample opportunity to fish. At number one, the Kendall Catwalk on the Pacific Crest Trail is really a gem in the Cascade Mountain Range. The trail is on the longer end for a day hike, but if you're up for the challenge, you'll be treated to some of the best hiking that I've ever seen. The trail has fantastic views of the surrounding mountain range as you hike along high cliff sides. As you hike through the forest, you'll find more wild blueberry bushes than I've ever seen in one place. The catwalk itself is a stunning feature that has to be seen to truly be appreciated. The trail is carved out of the mountainside to allow Pacific Crest Trail hikers to continue their journey onto Canada. You have to go check this hike out. My top three favorite hikes are all extremely popular, so go early or go on a weekday so that you have a place to park. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit less well-traveled, here are my top three favorite less well-known hikes. At number three, Surprise Lake is pretty deep in the Cascade Mountain Range but that is one of the best parts about it. The hike itself is very similar to the very popular Lake Serene, but actually offers more views and beauty than Lake Serene. You can camp at the lakes, and if you'd like to make it a multi-day trip, you can keep hiking for as long as you'd like. At number two, Margaret's Way travels through a lush forest that is full of life. Once you get to the top of the hike, you're treated with the perfect hangout spot to sit and watch the world go by. This hike is perfect because it's close to Seattle, but feels like you're all alone in the woods. And my favorite less well-known hike is called the Index Town Wall. This hike is just outside the tiny town of Index on Highway 2. And in addition to being a great spot for hiking, there's also ample opportunity for rock climbing. The hiking trail is unlike any other I've ever been on. The trail is almost not even a trail because of how infrequently it's used. The trail is extremely steep and narrow, but it's fun and challenging. Once you get to the top, Washington's mountains are on full display. The views from the cliffside are really something that shouldn't be missed. The last three hikes that I want to discuss are best during certain seasons in the year. My number three seasonal hike is Lake Serene. This hike has a ton to offer. Whether you want views, waterfalls, or beautiful alpine lakes, this hike has it all. Once you pass the bottom of the big waterfalls, the trail gets very steep and makes you decide whether or not you really want to see the lake at the top. If you make it, you won't be sorry. The lake is beautifully framed by sheer cliffs, and if you go during spring or early summer, the lake will be frozen over. If you're feeling very adventurous, you can jump in the ice cold water for a swim, but I definitely don't suggest it. At number two, Dog Mountain in the Columbia River Gorge is really a sight to see when the flowers are blooming in the early summer. For a couple weeks out of the year, the wildflowers bloom unlike anything I've ever seen. The hike is relatively strenuous and it doesn't reward you until you get close to the top, but once you do, the Columbia River Gorge showcases all of its beauty. The mountain itself explodes with the color of thousands of wildflowers. Make sure to bring a jacket to cut the wind because the mountaintop can get quite windy. And my number one seasonal hike is Snow Lake 
because it's accessible during multiple seasons. Snow Lake is a popular hike for a reason. During the summer, it stays covered in snow for a long time. During the winter, the hike is great for snowshoeing and is well-traveled during all times of year. The trail travels through some of the highest mountains in the Snoqualmie area, so you get spectacular views on your way to the lake. You can camp near the lake, and you can continue your trip deeper into the mountains if you choose to do so. Make sure to check this hike out during both early summer and winter. Those are nine hikes that I think everyone should go see in Washington. I've done a lot of hiking in the state, but I've truly only scratched the surface of what's out there. Make sure to get up, get out, and go check it out for yourself. Have a good day.